Hey guys, and welcome to the 10th episode of my Aviation Today series. It's great to have you on the channel. The Boeing 787 and Airbus A350 are two of the most popular aircraft in the market today, with a large number of various airlines flying them worldwide. However, generally speaking, which one is better? In this video, I will provide you with a side-by-side -side comparison of the two jets, looking at both their advantages and disadvantages in order to determine which is better for airlines as well as for passengers. Let's start with arguably the most important factor for an airline looking to purchase an aircraft, the price. The 787 is the cheaper of the two, coming in at around $325 million per unit, as opposed to the A350, which comes in at around $366 million per unit. This gives Boeing a significant leg over Airbus, as the cheaper price does make it more enticing for airlines. When looking at pure sale numbers of the two types, the 787 is also the winner, having accumulated around 1,400 orders, with over 700 planes delivered. In comparison, the A350 has accumulated only around 890 orders, with around 200 being delivered. This is to be expected, however, as the 787 was introduced three years prior to the A350, hence the lesser number of orders and deliveries. Next, let's take a look at the statistics underlying the operations of the two aircraft. The A350 takes the lead in this category, having not only a larger fuel capacity than the 787, but greater range as well. The A350 can hold around 24,000 more kilograms of fuel and can fly up to almost 4,000 kilometers farther than the 787. This gives the A350 a distinct advantage, as it's able to not only fly farther, but also with a larger payload than the 787. Though not a massive advantage, the A350 also benefits from a shorter takeoff distance, meaning that the plane can generate more thrust and thus take off from a shorter runway. As with any airline, their top priority is of course, safety. Now while both the 787 and A350 are extremely safe aircraft, the 787 has had a history of various mechanical issues. In 2013, the aircraft suffered electrical system problems coming from its lithium ion batteries. What followed were a number of incidents including an electrical fire on board an all Nippon Airlines 787, which resulted in all 787s being grounded during that period. Luckily, since then the issue has been mostly resolved, with Boeing having redesigned the lithium ion batteries. However, issues with the jet still linger. More recently, there have been issues with the 787's Rolls-Royce engines, with the discovery showing early signs of corrosion in the fan blades, resulting in further planes grounded and flights cancelled. Now, let's move on to the passengers. Which aircraft is more comfortable to fly on? Well, in this category, it's quite the same, though the A350 does have a slight advantage in that the cabin has an extra 10 centimeters of width. Although this may not seem like much, in economy class, those few extra centimeters certainly do count. On the flip side, whether you see this as an advantage or not, the 787 does feature electronic dimming windows instead of your traditional window shades. Aside from this, both the 787 and A350 also benefit from various advantages, such as mood lighting, large oversized luggage bins, and high ceilings. All in all, both the 787 and A350 are excellent aircraft. While the 787 has the advantage of being significantly cheaper, the A350 beats it in both range and fuel capacity. And if I were to answer the original question of which aircraft is better, the only answer I could give is that it really just depends on what an airline is looking for. So that brings me to asking you, which aircraft do you guys think is better? Do you prefer the 787 or the A350? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyhow, I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you all very soon.